In this lecture, we're going to look at adding introduction sliders to our Ionic apps. Let's make a new page. And we'll call that page slider. This is simply in a brand new blank project. And as you can see, it's generated a new page named slider that we can use in our app. I'm then going to head over to my app component.ts and I'm going to change our root page from the home page to instead be a string and that will say slider page. This will then take the user to the slider instead of the home page. We can then display some slides and then after that's finished, we can navigate the user to the home page. So inside of our slider.html, we can remove everything inside of this file. And then we can add back the ion content and inside of the ion content, we can add some ion dash slides. The ion slides is a holder for all of the slides inside of this component. Therefore, we can add an ion dash slide as many times as we want. On each slide, I'm simply going to display a welcome message, such as welcome to slider. And we'll copy this three times. So let's make three ion slides, each with a H1 and some text. If we save our file, you'll notice that we get welcome to slider at the bottom of the screen. We can then slide left and right to the other slides. So underneath this, I'm going to add a paragraph tag saying page one. I'm going to copy this and say page two. And finally, page three. We can then see that we have three different slides or pages in which we can navigate between. This allows us to provide a simple user interface to the user when they start using our application. Let's add pager equals to true on our ion slides. As you can see, this gives us the three little pager buttons at the bottom of our slides. We could then add a little bit of styling. For example, a background color and some text color. We could do this for each one of our slides. And then when we slide through our slider, you'll notice that we get these different colors. But what about the pager? As you can see, that is blue. I'd like to change that and instead we'd have it white. Obviously you don't have to inline your styles either. You can and most likely should make a class for one of these. But inside of our slider.scss, I want to override the swiper and the swiper is the library in which ion-slides uses. And then we want to override the pagination-bullet-active class. We can simply change the background to be white. This allows us to have a white slider pager. So let's consider how we may programmatically change our slides. What I'm going to do is import view child from Angular core. And what this allows us to do is access those slides and call the next and previous methods. So let's add a new variable based on the view child decorator. We'll say view child slides and slides comes from Ionic Angular. And our variable will be called slides and it will be of type slides. Then when the view did load, so when the view has loaded, I want to call this dot slides dot slide two and this allows us to slide to a particular index 
We'll slide to number two. And then we have a speed transition. So we can change the transition length in milliseconds. Let's say a thousand, so one second. And we'll add this as part of a set timeout. So this will happen after one second. So let's save the file. And you see we start on page one. And after one second, we go to page three. And that's because it's a zero based index. So if we wanted to go to page two, it would be one. Let's try that again. And we have a very smooth transition that takes one second from changing the slide to one another. I also want to add the toast controller. And the toast controller does come from Ionic Angular, so let's inject that into the constructor. And then we'll define a new method called slide changed. And this effectively will be used to show when the slide has changed. We can say this dot toast dot create. And the message that we'll display is slide changed. That will then be presented to the user. And the way that we can hook into this method is inside of our slider.html. We have access to the ion slide did change event. We can then of course pass through our slide changed methods. And then when our slide changes, we do get a toast at the bottom of the screen. Aside from ion slide did change, there are other events that we can use, such as ion slide autoplay, ion slide autoplay start, stop, even things like drag, and much more. Feel free to play around with the slider as it is quite an interesting API, and you can do some awesome experiences. So that's how we use the slider inside of Ionic.